In a previous video, I said that it is far easier for a company to see the big trends than it is for them to change their business to meet those needs. And a lot of big and well-loved brands sit quite naturally in the middle ground. But they sit in the middle ground at a time when consumer needs are actually diversifying away from the center. And you can see this divergence on a number of different dimensions. But price is the obvious one. Whether it's airlines or air fresheners, we either want to buy the cheapest on shelf or we want a bit of a treat. What we don't want is the one that's neither the cheapest nor the nicest. So as you know, I like to give fruit juice as an example. So in the fruit juice market, we either want the posh chilled stuff with the bits in it for a treat, or we want the four pack of Tesco's one litre. Now this is a trend that impacts all aspects of what we do, even in our social lives. So now we either tend to want to have a cheap night in with a ready meal and a bottle of wine, or it's a big weekend night out. Those mid-tempo drinking sessions in the local pub on a Wednesday night are as much part of that middle ground graveyard as Del Monte fruit juice once was. Now some brands, not many mind you, but some brands have managed to cleverly occupy both the premium and the cheap ground at the same time. Stella Artois managed it for years. So their TV advert was reassuringly expensive a beautifully produced film quality advertising, but at the same time, they were constantly on offer in store. I know I fell for it every time. Would go, hey look, that reassuringly expensive brand is disconcertingly cheap today. Let's stock up with that. Well, I worked it out in the end, and I think most consumers did. But it's not just price where we see this divide. We see it everywhere. We see the split between feature and functionality between convenience and choice. Oh, life is so busy, I can't be bothered to use a tin opener or even unwrap the dishwasher tablet or push the button on top of my air freshener. But at the same time, I want to pause over 3,000 choices of coffee in my coffee shop or deliberate over selecting the perfect wine for the evening. And we see that divergence in personal values as well. We are all, quite rightly, becoming increasingly concerned about global issues and ethical marketing is booming. But at the same time, we all know that society is becoming more selfish. It's a time of the iPhone, the me phone. You can summarise this divergence by saying, no. I want to save the world, but I want to look gorgeous while I'm doing it. And similar to that, the one that I think is very interesting is the growth of anti-corporate sentiment growing at the same time as the continued rise of affluenza. Now, affluenza is a phrase that's used to describe the obsession with money, celebrity, and, and big brands. So brands like Reggae Reggae Sauce and Innocent, before it was bought by Coke, thrived in an anti-corporate way alongside the big corporate affluenza brands like Nike and BMW and Smeg Fridges. So beware the middle ground graveyard. See those divergent trends and carefully and slowly move your brand along one of the dimensions. Dairy Lee did it beautifully. They were in the middle ground graveyard with their triangles, but Lunchables was a recognisable brand that moved along the convenience divergence. They recognise that over two billion food occasions take place in the car every year, and actually many of those involve kids. So don't think it can't be done for your product or your brand. That's just nonsense. There's always the opportunity to be t make your product 10% worse and 10% cheaper, or to become premium, or even uber premium. So take bottled water as an example. That's a marketeer's dream. Water is odourless, it's colourless liquid, that is available to everybody in the country free of charge. And yet consider these examples of uber premium. So there's a brand called Kona Water, K-O-N-A, Kona Water that is taken deep from the Pacific Ocean, desalinated and marketed as being untouched by human hands, and of course, sold at a premium. Or in the US, believe it or not, there is a product called Skinny Water, a diet water marketed as being part of your calorie control diet. But my favorite, and it's absolutely true, there is a brand called Hydra, 
Now this is a concentrated water, so that's right. To drink it, you just add water. And there's a Dutch vodka company, and they somehow manage to be both cheap and premium at the same time. They sell very cheap one litre bottles of vodka. I think it's called something like bloot, which means broke or penniless, I believe, in Dutch. But the trick is, the bottle's already more than half empty, so they can sell it at a cheaper price. But the same company also sells little plastic guns with six vodka shots in them. Five contain water, one contains vodka, so you can play a vodka Russian roulette. And of course, as a result, they charge a huge premium for the vodka. OK, these are perhaps silly examples, but you get the point. And if you want to know if I'm talking sense or not, ask the man from Del Monte, because you know what he will say. Thank you.